I'd better take her scarf, but I don't want to search her further. I can use the scarf to tie the rod to something, but what then? Okay, I'm back. Duva! Faye, I think I've got it. I switched the hoses so that the H2 is being pumped back into the algae farm. Um, that's all Greek to me. H2 is lighter than air and much lighter than water. Oh, bravo, Bent. High school level physics in the face of death. Your students would love it. Listen! I just built us an elevator. The gas will push the algae farm up. All we have to do now is climb through the lock and onto the farm before it undocks. I can't get there fast enough. I broke my leg, remember? Well, that's where Faye the Fairy enters the stage and splints your leg. Hold still. We're almost out of here. <laughs> Phew. Oh no, it's not working again. Bent? Bent, wake up. We're here. Hmm? What's up? Are we there yet? I just told you that. Well, get out of the car. We have a problem. <sighs> Augie left the keys in the ignition. Take them and come with me. Hurry! Bad news. We are stuck. My radio transmitter has gone crazy and Simon says that- Stop. Wait just a second. Tell me one thing at a time. Where the devil are we? We're in the Brazilian jungle, two miles from the Indes power plant. Yes, yes, I know that, but- do you really think the algae is at the power plant? I know as much as you, but what I do know is that this horrible man said something about Brazil. And the power plant is Indez's head office in Brazil. Where else would it be? Sound theory. What did you say? When will the power plant blow up? About a week after the conference. Yes, on March 27th. That's today. Out with it. 
We're not just here for the algae. No, we have to prevent the accident too. Why did you let me sleep in? We have no time to lose. Any news from Salvador? Yes, he's here at the power plant. You talked to him? No, I only located him. He... What? Nothing. Are you worried about Salvador? Worried? Yes. Bent, do you know what a predestination paradox is? Wow, that's got something to do with time travel, doesn't it? Yes. I'm worried that our involvement might have caused the accident in the first place. Salvador wants to shut down the power plant, but maybe that's the thing that went wrong. Phew, I'd say that finding Salvador made it on our list as well. Yes, it's right at the top. I wanted to ask you something else. Ask, please. Who is Simon? Simon is the barkeep. The barkeep? Where's the bar? It's the last stop before one gets to the power plant. The road ends here. It's only another two miles. We can walk. No. Simon says that's much too dangerous. I already tried. Christ, no more solos. We'll find a way together. How long was I sleeping? The whole ride from the heliport to here, like a baby. Stop that. You're not my mother. But you could be my great, 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 great grandfather. Even if I were, the gene pool would be so watered down by the time you'll be born that we wouldn't have anything in common. True. I need less sleep and I don't snore. Huh. Where are Augie and Duva? They, um, are doing their own research. Good grief. If you won't tell me, I'm going to find out myself. You'll find them at the bar. Just tell me what I have to do, and I'll do it. You must find a way for us to get to the power plant. Meanwhile, I'll try to contact Salvador. All right. <sighs> we'll work something out. Right. See you later. Proper tools, finally. Hmm, it's much lighter than I thought. Let's see then, a screw, a nut, that's it, great. Hmm, it's a little loose. If I apply some pressure here and bend it a little there, it breaks and ends up in my pocket. I, Duva and I, we have a plan. Which is? We drink the guard under the table. <laughs> and then we're gonna steal his clothes. Gentlemen, next round. Volunteers first. It's my turn, it's my turn. I have a good feeling about this. All right, which color? Um, spades. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Drink, drink. I'd like to, but the beer's out. Uh, <gasps> brilliant plan. If we just had more beer. You are playing a drinking game? Yep. Wanna join? I want you to become sober and help. We are helping. We're helping, see? Benicio draws a card, and we guess the suit. If we're right, he has a drink. And once he's drunk enough, we'll steal his clothes. Very simple. How's it going with the plan? We are out of beer. But what's the score? Sally sells seashells by the seashore. If Sally sells seashells by the seashore. More beer. We need more beer. We'll get them.
You'll not get far in this state. Why? Where do I want to get to? You wanted to come with us to the power plant to write an article about us. G oh, why don't you just tell me what happened afterwards? That's assuming we make it out alive. See, that's why I'm getting hammered. Are all your articles secondhand? Not all of them. Most of it is my own work. So you make up the stories. Why doesn't that surprise me? Hey! I can't sell the truth if it won't make the cover. So what if an old lady becomes a hot blonde and a monk becomes a murderer? And what do you make of two drunken good-for-nothings? Holmes and Watson! Can you lend me some money? Why me? Because you were the only one to exchange money at the heliport. Ah, oh, damn it, you got me. Here, take it, but don't spend it all at once, will ya? Thanks. How's it going with the- We are out. But what's the score? Sally sells seashells. I'm not- Ha <laughs> ha! Look, Bent, I got wasted. We're in the middle of the Brazilian jungle, only a few miles away from Indez's power plant, and your son is drinking with the guards. Great, ain't it? No, it ain't great. But I haven't come here to, um, bark at you. Really? It, um... <laughs> Duva, I'm sorry. I, um... I wasn't a good father, and, um, I made a real mess of things. Oh, well, why don't you just have another drink? Because that's all I wanted to say, really. Bent? Hmm? Let's save the world first before we save our relationship, shall we? I'd prefer to get the small things off the table before we start dealing with the big stuff. <laughs> Yes, of course. Take care, Duva. You too. And don't drink too much, hear me? Ah, uh, now you've ruined this beautiful goodbye. I'm just saying. I see. It covered a hole. Away with it. Hands off! All right, all right. This is the manual for the swamp boat. And there's the number of a service hotline below the title. I'll memorize that, just in case. Tools. See? So? I'm a mechanic, specialized in airboats. May I take a look? A Bible doesn't make a pope. First, you gotta tell me what engine we're using. I don't know. Then get lost. Ah, there's the plate with the boat type. Amazon buggy C600.
Morning. Morning. You are with the others, right? Who are you talking about? The new team of technicians for the power plant. Um. A small lady with a bun, a hysterical giant, and some guy who looks like you with better posture. Oh, yes. I'm with them. Thought so. What can I do for you? What's the best way to get to the power plant? Oh, well, that's a short trip. Just two miles downriver. If I notify Miss Buendia over the power plant, she'll send a boat immediately. You just have to tell me your names, and I'll announce you. Hmm, thanks. That's very kind of you. But we're fine on our own. You do know that the river is the only access to the plant, don't you? If you try to travel by land, you'll find that the area is secured by electric fences, and the guards shoot everything that moves. Indez will be happy to send a boat to get you once he knows that you're here. I'm sure he would, but for now, I have to decline. Isn't there a boat here already? Only Horga's and Benicio's patrol boat. They've been waiting all day for a mechanic to repair the old cow. Miss Buendia has been notified, but no one's here yet. It shouldn't concern you, though, because only security guards are allowed on that boat. Bring me some coffee, please. Sorry, no more coffee. The fresh supply is expected later today. That's all I needed. Okay. Will that be enough for a call? Sure. That'll be enough for several calls. Indez is paying the bill anyway. And what did I give you the money for? Service charge. I hate hotlines, but I've got no choice. Transport Boats and Manufacturing, Inc. I have a question about one of your engines. What type of boat? It's an Amazon buggy C600. And what engine? It's a serial engine. Just a second. Are you talking about the Drifter TTX? Yes, exactly. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, goodbye. There. You can continue the game. Oh, thank you. Well, gentlemen, let's continue. I'll talk to you once. What kind of... You are using a Drifter TX. Right. 
So now that I've proven that I'm the mechanic, why don't you tell me what's wrong with her? The exhaust is blocked. The wind rudder ripped, and the fuel hose leaks. The tarp fits perfectly. Now I only have to fasten it. No outside-the-box thinking and wild improvisation for once. I can just use the staple gun with the tarp and... I'm done. Wish it were always that simple. Maybe it will finally be of some use. I won't touch that thing. I repaired it, and that's that. Well, that's one useful fish hook. Aha! So that's the problem. A snake got stuck inside the exhaust pipe. <sighs> Is it dead? It couldn't have survived in there. Why? Are you afraid of snakes? Take the evil thing and throw it away. Far away. That's all you need to know. Hmm. I have an idea. I'll take the shield, bend it so the screw will go through the opening at both ends, secure it with the nut, and I'll have a self-made screw clamp in no time. Not bad. I hope this works. Ha! It clamps the top of the hose to the tank. Not a permanent solution, but good enough for now. That'd be a wasted. There must. Um. Um.
That doesn't make Sounds like something toppled over. Something moved on the other side. I can see the guards' cards, and if these old eyes of mine aren't deceiving me, that's hearts. Well, spades, diamonds, or clubs? And uh, neither. I say hearts. Right. I take a drink. Do you want me to open the beer for you? Well, that would be great, mister. You can use the bottle opener on my key ring. My key doesn't have a box. Another beer? Sure. That doesn't make... I don't... These are the keys. 
May I? Sure, mister. But don't forget to put them back. I have... Here, the right keys, please. No. So different. Just put it. Spades. Well? Spades, diamonds, or clubs? Spades? Right. I take a drink. Do you want me? Well, that would be... You can use the... May I? Sure, mister. But don't forget to put... Another beer? Sure. Cheers! Cheers to... <laughs> Who is Ben Svensson? Almost got me out of a... J he should be quartered and hung. That's what I would do. <laughs> not just you, Lars. Not just you. What can I do for you, stranger? Tell me more about this Svensson. There's not much more to say. Unkempt gray hair, mustache, runs around in a lab coat all the time, talks gibberish. He's a laughing stock. Then why is he so dangerous? Turned out he was playing Frankenstein with swamp grass. Wanted to take over the energy market and put Indes out of business. Mean piece of work. He's got a son, too. Name's Duva. That one's really dangerous. Duva, eh? Never heard of him. Maybe Ben Svensson isn't as bad as that. Don't let his appearances deceive you. He's an energy imperialist of the worst kind. Maybe his energy is better for the world than Indez's energy. Pure imperialistic propaganda. I tell you. Those self-appointed do-gooders just want to ruin the market. If they had any say in it, we wouldn't have private armies anymore either. And then I'd be out of a job for good. Let's not paint such a bleak picture, shall we? Right. Bent Svensson is dead. Case closed. Have fun. We will. Diamonds. Well, what do you say? What am I holding? Is it... Wrong. It's clubs. Wrong. Diamonds. Well, what do you say? Uh, uh... Diamonds? Right. I take a drink. The guard is drunk enough now.
not a step... I just wanted to show her to you. No reason to shoot me for that. Ah, oh, yes, it's a very good reason. Vince Vincent, he's here with me. I'm just repeating what the guards said. Vent Svensson is dead, and the algae is history. None of that is true. Inda still has one specimen. We are here to save it. Oh, Faye, you and your plans. Why do you still believe that this Svensson will be able to achieve anything? Because I want to believe it. Oh, wake up and stop dreaming, will you? It takes more than good intentions to save the world. You need to act recklessly. At some point, you'll go up in smoke, and no one will remember who you were and why you were here. No one will remember me tomorrow either, but at least I'll have given the world a future. Stay away from the power plant. Wait for us. Too late. I've just found the back entrance. Farewell, Faye. Over and out. Salvador! Salvador, answer me! <laughs> we have a boat. Oh, Bent, that's great. We have to leave immediately. Salvador is going to do it solo. Is that a bad thing? You don't know him. He'll kill them all all of those who stand in his way, and maybe he'll even destroy the algae. Where's the boat? Follow me. Excuse me, Mr. Um... Yes? We would need the boat after all. <laughs> Why don't you come and get it then? Benny, where are you? We're having a situation here. That was your plan? It was only the beginning. Watch and learn. Aim and fire. Ah, go away! Get off of me! Ah! Hurry, Bent, get in the boat. Don't worry, we can make it. Huh? I said you shouldn't worry. The world won't end today. It must be here somewhere. I can locate Salvador's radio transmitter on the other side of the river. When did you say the reactor accident happened? This afternoon. We have to hurry. Please be careful, will you? The way is clear. Salvador? Looks like we're too late. He can't have gone far. Wait, we can't just storm in there. This place is heavily guarded. Salvador found a way or he would still be here. Or he didn't.
Nothing. Not even a sleeping bag. Nigel had such binoculars, too. If I remember correctly, you have to adjust the focus and select the area you want to inspect more closely. Then you can use the buttons on the right side to zoom in and out. It was also possible somehow to make and read notes. Looks like there's a note already. Log 1, 2230. The target is a fortress. There must be security gaps. I just haven't found them yet. We'll systematically analyze the area and document findings in code. I'll get in there somehow. There's nothing important here, or I didn't adjust the focus properly. Salvador made notes on the binoculars rim that refer to this field. I should take a closer look. Yes, Salvador left a voice message about this area and he jotted down some values too. I must analyze this thoroughly. Maybe that way I can reconstruct his course of action. Log 2, 0142, a processing plant. Close to the jungle, but fenced in. Only a few hiding places. The watchtower is another problem. I'll take a closer look at it. Maybe it's just there for deterrence. This must be the place Salvador described, but I think I haven't adjusted the focus correctly yet.
Where is he? He found a back entrance. Come on, I'll show you. Locked? Or barricaded. Maybe Salvador doesn't want us to follow him. He can be a bit difficult. Whatever, we have to get in there. A drain pipe. I hope everything that comes out is clear water and not poisoned or radioactive. As long as the water level is this high, I can't climb in there. Let's try climbing through the pipe. You can do that one without me. After all the climbing I did in the lab, my back won't take it anymore. Fine. I'm going to look for a way to open the door from the other side then. See you. Be careful. I wonder what this is and what do I... I wonder what this is supposed to be and what do all of these lights mean? I wonder what this is supposed to be, and what do all of these lights mean? Finally, what did you do in there? Don't whine, let's go. Salvador can't be far. That was Salvador. Kalamon! Shh, someone's coming. Damn it, Kalamon, where are you? I am here, sir, and I brought a visitor. Duva. Bent. <laughs> Svensson Jr. What do you want, Duva? Are you here to get your money? Or are you here for your accursed magic vegetable? You have no right to our research, Indes. Quite the opposite. I consider it my duty to rid the world of this green slime. And since I am not only diligent, but also very thorough, I will dispose of its creators as well. That's my cue, right? Yes. Take them to the other prisoners and kill them. And scour the building. If Duva is here, his old man and that crazy climate activist won't be far either. Meanwhile, I'll enjoy an algae tea in my office.
Bent? They will kill him. No, they won't. Not on my watch. I think you overestimate yourself. No, listen to me. The algae in our future was developed by you and Duva. If Duva had died today, the algae wouldn't have existed in the future, and we wouldn't have been able to travel to the past. The timeline would have changed drastically. So much so, in fact, that I would disintegrate. I don't understand. Does this mean we can't keep the reactor accident from happening? No, but if we do, I will... I will disappear. You don't have to understand that right now. You just have to trust me when I tell you that you will save your son. Hmm. Okay. I'll trust you then. I think. Good. Meanwhile, I'll take care of the algae. Let's go. Take care, Faye. You too. Miss Buendia, I don't want to be disturbed for half an hour. I have to decide on the future of the bioenergy of the planet. And please, turn up the air conditioner. Of course, sir. The algae is in the room above me, together with Indez. I have to lure him out somehow. He won't get out of there easily. Let's see if this works. Now they're being blown down. And snip. Ha, <laughs> it'll be getting cold now. Miss Buendia, the air conditioning. Do you hear me? Please turn down the air conditioner right now. I'm the head of a global corporation and not a polar bear at the North Pole. If you want to get something done, you'd better do it yourself. A board and a metal lid are the only useful things in here. I'll take both.
Are you Salvador? Mm-hmm. I'm here to save you. Get ready. I need something to cut the ropes. Understood. I'll see to it. Looks promising. Looks promising. What? Oh. <laughs> you should work on your aim if you are trying to kill me with a pane of glass. Ah! Thanks. Good grief. You didn't have to go and kill the man. Are you here to discuss ethics, or do you want to save the world? Because we don't have time for both. There must be a way to prevent the reactor accident without risking even more people. Accident? Prevent? What did Faye tell you? I know everything. The reactor accident, the complete destruction of the climate, your stopover in 2050, what? 2050? That one was mine. We had to tell him something. Otherwise, he wouldn't have helped us. <laughs> that little schemer. What? What's so funny? What's going on here? Faye lied to you, Svensson. There was no accident. I am the accident. I don't understand a word of this. So, there wasn't a catastrophe? The world didn't end today? What day is it today? March 27, 1982. A completely random, interchangeable day in your oh-so-peaceful life. Of course, the world didn't end today, nor did it end next Wednesday, on July 8th, or sometime in 2011. There was a catastrophe, yes, but it wasn't an isolated individual event that caused it. There wasn't a big bang. It was a gradual process that took decades. Which was the reason why you never did anything about it. What about your stopover in 2050? There was a stopover, but it was much later. The climate change didn't happen from one day to the next. It took several centuries. But I talked to Delvin. I saw the future. The photos you saw were from the early 26th century, not from 2050. Seems like Faye heated a part of our mission after all. You are a perfect example of why we are right. Mankind will only react to immediate threats. Was the future of the algae just another lie? What algae? My blue-green algae. The one you use as a power source in the future. Think about it. We live in bunkers below the Earth. What use is photosynthesis to us if we don't have any sunlight? Ironically, we must get by with the sources you left us. Our electrical power is provided by nuclear reactors. So there is no Svensson generator? <laughs> no. 
At least not before my job is done. Faye would never lie to me. But she did. She finally must have realized that the world can't be saved by idealism and good intentions. People must be forced to do the right thing. But if there wasn't a catastrophe, what are you doing here? The plan is to cause a catastrophe. What? You want to cause a reactor accident on purpose? Exactly. Our experts calculated that the explosion of the Indes power plant will destroy the Brazilian rainforest from the Amazonas southwards in no time. It will make the total destruction of the climate look inevitable. Only immediate rethinking will save the world from collapsing. Power plants will be shut down. Alternative energy sources will be used. People like you will finally be taken seriously. It's the only chance to curtail the long-term damage to our ecosystem. You can't be serious. People will die. Species will be exterminated. This is madness. Is it? People need a push before they will act. Without an immediate threat, you won't do anything. You of all people should know that. We can change. But you won't. We know that. To us, your failures are a thing of the darkest past. I still don't understand what you are hoping to achieve. Mankind needs a wake-up call. Power plants like this will completely ruin the rainforest's ecosystem over the next century. But when people finally realized that and decided to act, it was already too late. Only a catastrophe will open their eyes to the truth. But that's suicide. We will all die. So what? We'll die anyway. There are only a couple of hundred people left in my time, Svensson, and those won't survive the next solar flare. If we don't make a new beginning today, soon there won't be a future. We sacrifice ourselves for the survival of mankind. So there wasn't? What about you? But I talked to Faye would. But if there. You can't. We can. I still. Do. But that's suicide. We will all die. So what? We'll die anyway. There are only a couple of hundred people left in my time, Svensson. And those won't survive the next solar flare. If we don't make a new beginning today, soon there won't be a future. We sacrifice ourselves for the survival of mankind. Well, enough chit-chat. I have a power plant to blow up. Salvador, wait! Damn it, Salvador! I'm sorry, Bent. If Tuva had died, you wouldn't have gone up in smoke, right? No. I would still be here. Get out of here. All three of you. I will try to stop Salvador. I don't have to follow your orders. I will help you. Ha! Don't you think it's enough if one fool dies today? 
Or do you really want to sacrifice yourself for a world that has done nothing but disappoint you? Bent, you haven't disappointed me. All right, but no more lies. No more nonsense about blue-green algae and no more I will go up in smoke. No smoke. Promise. Let's go. Over there. That's the reactor core. That's Salvador's target. Let's go. Hurry! The reactor core is starting to move. On my way. Did you hear that? What was that? The reactor stopped. Help! Guards! Ah! Send a team to the core. Damn it! Can anybody hear me? What happened here? Your dream of the apocalypse is coming true. Your friend stopped the crane. Now the reactor can't be cooled anymore and will explode in a few minutes. What can we do about it? Reactivate the crane! Oh, the switch is one floor down from here. Can we control it from here? There is an emergency flooding mechanism. But to activate it, the valve on the first floor has to be opened. The crane's on the second floor. The valve on the first floor. Understood. Take care of Indez. I'll activate the crane. How can she be this naive? That sociopath won't think twice about killing her. Shut up. She'll make it. Great, now hurry back. If the water touches the nuclear fuel rod, the whole room will be filled with boiling hot steam. Not so fast. Well, well. If that isn't radio operator Faye, and here I thought you might be useful. Guess I was wrong. Give me the blue-green algae. What? Why? Because then, neither you nor Bent Svensson have something on me. If you thwart my plan to save the world, I'll thwart yours. Good. Now we can negotiate. If my plan is successful, and I'm sure it will be, this power plant will blow up and the world will be in a frenzy to find alternative energy sources to prevent such a disaster from happening ever again. And that's the reason why I need Bent Svensson and the algae. Did you hear me, Svensson? Without a catastrophic event like this, no one will ever listen to you. I'll give you enough time to escape, and in return, you'll let me see my plan through. Bent? Don't listen to him. Don't worry, Faye. I'm not stupid. Your compassion makes you stupid. Because you always want to do right by everybody. Nothing will ever change. Here's a challenge for you. Is your will to stop me strong enough to sacrifice Faye? What? You heard right. We either come to an understanding or Faye is going to die. Good God. I'm waiting. Hey! Damn it! I opened the valve! You 
can activate the emergency flooding now. He won't do that. Poor Fay would drown if he did. And now, let me in. I have the algae, and I still want to negotiate. And if you can't sacrifice me, Not smoke. <laughs> What's so funny? Your friends just got steamed. Do you want to know what for? For nothing. Nothing has changed. My power plant is still standing. I am alive. And you don't really believe that I will just let you walk away with the algae, do you? Yes, that is exactly what I believe. Good evening, Dr. Svensson. My name is Miranda Barbarez. I think that is enough of an introduction. I was at my husband's dinner party when I received a distress call from Brazil. The call came from your son at the command center of Emilio Indes. He said some crazy stuff about time travels, then put me through to you. What in God's name is going on there? What is going on? I can tell you exactly what is going on here. A catastrophe is going on. Two people just died because we are incapable of change. Calm down, please. I promise that we will start an investigation into this incident. Come to Oslo immediately and bring that algae with you. We'll talk about everything else there. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hurricanes, forest fires, melting polar caps, and expanding deserts. Climate change is said to make our planet uninhabitable, but will it be as early as 2050? Today, I welcome the author of the novel, The Phoenix Plan. He has a doctorate in physics, is a special emissary of the EU, and an ambassador for a better world. Welcome, Dr. Leif Ogerson. Good evening, Tom. Life, your novel ends with a terrible catastrophe. Gonzalo, a militant eco-activist from the future, causes a major nuclear disaster, thereby destroying all of South America. That was the only way to save the world for good, or so he said. Are you serious? Did you just tell the whole world about the fantastic ending of my novel? It is a very cynical ending. <laughs> yes, it is. Seriously. The important question you should ask is this. How can you encourage 7 billion people to act? Two people alone can't save the world. So you want to provoke your readers into action? Do you really think a sci-fi thriller is the right platform? Why wouldn't it be? My God, we live in the 80s. Bullocks. Complete and utter nonsense. What, talk shows? Mr. Tall Tales tells the truth for once and then claims that he had just made all of it up. It's what they call force of habit, Bent. Some people never change. Bah. Is there any more coffee? Nope. Damn it. How are we supposed to help save the world when we are out of coffee? I'll get some tomorrow. 
tomorrow? Tomorrow? In a couple hundred years, Sydney burns, Moscow trembles, and London drowns. We don't have time to dawdle. I need my coffee, and I need it now. Uh, Bent? What? Moscow freezes. Right. Thank <laughs> you.